this deoxygenated red blood cell would it's having starved me superior vena cava right here it would then travel into the right atrium right here and then it would move into the uh, tricuspid valve pictured here into the left and then into the left the right ventricle there and next stop it would move through the pulmonary semilunar valve right there it would move into the pulmonary trunk it would then branch off into either uh, of these pulmonary arteries this one here or this one it could travel various places it may go down into the uh, say here posterior basal branch it would eventually come in contact with capillaries which are connected to, to the alveoli it will become oxygenated and then it would move into the pulmonary veins it would eventually get to one of the four pulmonary uh, veins pictured here 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 and here and we have the superior left pulmonary vein the superior inferior left pulmonary vein superior right pulmonary vein and the inferior right pulmonary vein it would travel through one of those and it would get to the left atrium where it would then move through the uh, mitral valve there into the left ventricle and next it would move get up here and pass through the aortic semilunar valve and then into the aorta it will go into the uh, ascending aorta it may go into the brachiocephalic artery or the left common carotid or the left subclavian it may go down it may go into the descending aorta but from there it would move uh, to the rest of the body